Howdy, folks. One thing's for sure, if you like beef jerky, beef sticks, that sort of thing, and you especially like talking about them and making little videos about them, you're, you're usually looking for some unusual ones. I got this package in the mail. Let's get this open. Looking for odd meats, exotic animals. Just, you know, the weirdest stuff you can find. Because that's what makes for stuff to, you know. And I got mythical meats. Probably the most sought after uh, creatures in the world. Um, things that, I mean, yeah, they're endangered. But come on, no one's eating these. Or they haven't in years, and I've got got a package of it. Let's see what we get here. Um, let's get this off. Sorry, I gotta cut this with the knife back here. Pull them out. The little card. What we've got here, wow. Look at all these things. I've got, I mean, we're talking exotic. We are talking creatures you have not seen. This is here. Basilic. Well, you know, basilics, they're kind of like little, oh, dragony creatures or reptile. Basilic. Phoenix. Phoenix. Wow. That's pretty rare. This one is Chubacabra. I'm going to eat some Chubacabra pretty soon. What did I get? Werewolf. Genuine werewolf meat. We've got griffin. Genuine griffin meat. I didn't think griffins have been around for a while, but I guess they found some. Oh my goodness, dragon. This is a dragon. They made this out of dragon. I mean, it says it right on there, so they can't lie, right? Loch Ness Monster. And eats a Loch Ness Monster. What is this? Oh, this one's folded. Kraken. It's a big sea creature. There's their card. Pegasus. And finally, unicorn. What would be a good one to start? Let's start. I have some lovely viewers in England. Let's give their old Nessie a try. Try her out. says it's uh, made with genuine Loch Ness Monster, I think. I don't have my reading glasses on. And the main ingredient's Loch Ness Monster. And then uh, they've got some beef and um, mild buffalo just as filler. I don't think that's much of it in there. Most of it's Loch Ness Monster. With some beef and mild buffalo. Not have a fishy taste. Hmm. And hey, 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 hey! You don't get any Loch Ness monster. That's a that's a human food. Where'd you come from? Hmm. That's good. A little smoky taste to it. 
And it's just smoked old. Oh, it's got a little, oh, a little spice in it. A little bit. Black pepper or something I got. Nom, nom, nom. This is weird. Watching the... Now, okay, that's enough of sniffing those, okay? Got a cat right sitting here now. I don't know if I can get him down. He wants to be here bad. See? It's right there. Just... He just put himself right there. Right where I am doing stuff. <laughs> so I saw some weird stuff on the YouTubes. As the kids call it. That's what the kids call it. The YouTubes. They put a the in front to make it useful. Now I saw... I, I had gone through looking for stuff. Um, I had a really good time in October. Watching um, Comic Tropes. He did uh, Inktober, and every day of the month of Inktober, the idea is to draw something every day in October. And he decided that he wanted to do something horror-themed every day, and they give you a prompt every day, one word. Um, and I don't remember any of them, but he drew, I know he drew a uh, an old goat from uh, Witcher, um, he drew Freddy Krueger, he drew Jason, you know, stuff like that. And that's what he drew. Um, I know he drew Candyman. It was sweet. For the uh, word sweet, he drew Candyman. Anyways, I thought that was fun. And watching him just draw and watching the techniques. I'm not an artist. I, I don't know art. I mean, I can look at art and I can appreciate art. Um, especially um, comic style art. I... I, I certainly enjoy watching the process. And he did it as a Q&A while he was just drawing and he was answering questions. I thought, that's really cool. So I looked up Inktober and I, a few things came up. Um, and I was going to watch and I kind of put watches on them. And uh, there's some of them people were doing it as recently as now. Still calling them Inktober, which is whatever. I don't care when you do it. Watching a person draw and talk. I mean, that's why Bob Ross was so popular. It wasn't his paintings. I mean, it was okay, but people liked just hearing him talk while he painted. It's, I wouldn't call it ASMR because I don't get the tingle. It's just soothing, you know, to me. So I looked, I, there was some gal named Drawwizzle was her name. Although her real name's Doorizzle, but she has a channel apparently called Drawwizzle. So I marked off all these Inktober ones as wanting to watch. Which then, of course, causes things to pop up in your feed. And with the world being a big coincidence that it is, it pops up that she's part of this whole... Whatever her name was from Dr. Phil, Trish something. Uh, Trish... I don't, I don't know. Truthfully, Trisha. And she um, is in all, all, all this. I don't, I'm like, God, how does that happen? How is everybody somehow tied to these things that I decide to look at, you know. Somehow it'll pop up in it. I just what's I watched one half buttedly asked, half acidly. And she was now I I don't know who was tied. It was a gal and a guy. I, I I was able to gather what it was kind of about. It was kind of a wimpy guy who apparently, you know, she just, the gal was, she was definitely the one with the pants in the family. And, and I realized that's the dude from those Trisha Dr. Phil videos. And as she's talking about this, um, it is, it's, it's Trisha's old husband. Trish used to boss him around from what I had seen. Here's what I discovered was this gal was one of Trish's trolls or haters or whatever the proper term for, you know, people. I call them. I, I prefer troll. If you're going to call me something, I prefer troll, I'm not hater. I don't really hate. I like to cause trouble for George Send to just bother him, but I don't hate him. I think he deserves uh, to go to jail for things he's done. Definitely think that, but I don't hate him for grand theft, um, credit card fraud. I just think he should have been put away for it. But um, 
I'm watching this, and, you know, the gal was a Trish hater. And there she is with Trish's husband. And she boned Trish's husband. Now, that's the ultimate in trolling. My God, to go after someone that you've been tormenting a little bit or whatever and bone their spot. Does that mean if I want to gain my title back as the ultimate troll, I'm going to have to bone Kathy? Oh, no.